up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Sunday to you guys. Happy football day to you guys. Good luck to your team this weekend. All right, guys, I just woke up and got myself all ready. I slept at my Plan A parking spot between the two uh, shuttle buses. I have not slept here in a minute. But today, guys, is the official, official start of the California road trip and I am so excited I got a good night's sleep usually I go through some little anxieties and don't get the best sleep but I slept pretty good last night and I feel good this morning I'm about to head to Mickey D's and get me some breakfast and then we're on the road we are on the road Heading to Raleigh, North Carolina. Now, my plan today, since it is Sunday and it is football day, my plan today is to drive as many hours until football starts, which is one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So, <clears throat> I probably get in about, because it's about 7.18 in the morning now, so I probably get about five and a half hours in, and wherever I am at that point, I'm going to stop and check into a hotel so that I can watch football all day today and the night game, and then I should arrive in Raleigh, North Carolina tomorrow, Monday, which I'm pretty excited about. Excuse all the sun. But for now, to kick off this road trip, I'm heading to Mickey D's and get myself some breakfast. And then I should, you know what? I should get some gas first. Because I like to start my road trips off with a full tank of gas. That way I don't have to stop so soon unless I have to go to the bathroom, which is likely to happen. So let me get some gas. At least the gas is cheaper down this way. It's $3.59. It was $3.89 when I took off in uh, PA. So that's good. I have about two hours to go, but I'm probably going to stop in about an hour. All right, guys, I am all gassed up. I'm going to keep a separate, I'm going to keep a separate uh, space in here for my gas for this uh, road trip because I want to see how much gas I spend on this whole trip. So I'm going to stop this somewhere else. Oh, do I have another slot? Okay, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I may not have a 
I got so much stuff in here to write off during tax time. <laughs> I'm going to be writing it off, boy. Getting it in. All right. I found a slot. The last slot. Now, let's go to Mickey D's and get some breakfast. And let's, let's get it started up here. Let's get it started in here. I think I can get about... I think I can probably get about five or six hours off of a tank of gas. I don't go by the miles and all that stuff because, you know, I don't. It's easier for me to fill up my tank of gas. <laughs> fill up my tank with gas. And since I'm driving a distance to just say, okay, I got five hours out of, and I'm, at, I'm like at a, a quarter of a tank. It's easier for me to do that. So, I just filled up. Let's see how far it gets me. It should get me to, let me see, 7, 30, 8, 30, 9, 30, 10, 30, 11, 30, 12, 30, 1, 30. Ooh, that's six hours. That might be pushing it, but we'll see. I think I'm gonna get an orange juice today. I like to pay with my phone, but since I'm filming right now, I can't do that. Excuse me? I said good morning, may I take your order? Yes, good morning. Um, I like a medium orange juice and a sausage McMuffin, no egg. Okay, so I can put your order? Yes. Okay, it's gonna be uh, 560. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Why do I thank them? I'm patronizing their place, <laughs> their business. <laughs> but I guess it's just common courtesy. Okay, come through. Hello. Hi. Thank you. You're welcome. I should have played the trick on her and gave her this Canadian ten dollars and see what she would how she would have reacted. <laughs> Cause I still got twenty dollars of Canadian money. <laughs> I'ma do that at one McDonald's drive through. I'm gonna give them that Canadian ten dollars and see what they <laughs> see how they react. <laughs> All right, let's get it going. Let's get it going on our way to Cali. It's a long way. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's gonna be a long way. <laughs> I think I gotta get an oil change around a thousand miles. It might be a little less than a thousand, so I might look for a um, Valvoline and um, Raleigh. Oh Lord, I'm gonna miss my Diet Coke in the morning. Alrighty. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started in here. And you know it's not gonna be a road trip without me doing a sing-along or something. So at some point during this road trip, and it might even be many points during this road trip, because I gotta, I gotta start entertaining myself at some point. It was a cool morning, boy. Good, thanks. All 
right, guys. See you on the road. All right, guys, I am all checked in, I'm settled down. I'm exhausted and I don't know why because I felt pretty good this morning when I woke up and got started. Um, I only drove about five hours today. I did well during the five hours. I didn't feel tired at all while driving the five hours. I stopped twice, uh, once to refill my gas and the other to use the restroom and grab something to eat. And other than that, it's you know, it's been a smooth day. So my intentions, if I have not mentioned it before, is to stay at hotels on Sundays so that I can kick back, relax, and watch some football. Um, throughout the week, I will be just staying in my car, my van, wherever. And then once I get to California, I will be staying at a hotel and I stay there the duration of me being in California because I am not about to be riding around Cal different parts of California trying to figure out where to park every night that I'm there. No, that's not gonna be me. But in the meantime, I do want to announce uh, a meet and greet. Let me just get this out before I forget. Um, I wanna have a meet and greet in Raleigh, North Carolina. Now, I will get to Raleigh um, tomorrow. I'm only about an hour and a half away, so that should be an easy drive whenever I check out the hotel tomorrow around 11. Um, but I am going to have a meet and greet in Raleigh on Tuesday at 6 o'clock, from 6 o'clock p.m. to 7.30 p.m. at the Crab Tree. I don't know if it's the Crab Tree, but Crab Tree Mall in the food court. So if you are in the Raleigh area and you want to come and hang out a little bit and meet and talk with me and, you know, have a good time, I will be at the food court at um, Crabtree Mall because where I intend on staying while in Raleigh is only going to be like 10 minutes from that um, mall. So um, I chose that mall for that purpose. But I will leave the information in the description and I will put it up here somewhere if I remember. But other than that, yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting a few of you guys here in Raleigh while I am here. Um, I think I'm going to stay here until I'm going to leave on Wednesday. So I'll be here, um, be there in Raleigh um, all Monday most of Monday, Tuesday, and I'll be leaving on Wednesday. All right, but I'm watching a game here on my laptop. And the reason why I'm watching on my laptop because the TV uh, is showing the Ravens and the Bengals game, and I can't watch the whole game of Ravens because they frustrate me. I've been them had a, a stroke or something watching them. 
<laughs> so I can't, I can't do it. Uh, so I'm watching the uh, Buffalo Bills and the Las Vegas Raiders. Um, I was watching uh, Kansas City Chiefs and um, the Jaguars earlier, but not too much going on with that game. But I'm hungry, and I'm about to fix this. Ta-da! It's a Rana meat lasagna, and guess how I'm going to fix it? Remember how I fixed my cake last year on my birthday? That was last year, wasn't it? That wasn't this year's birthday. That was last year's birthday. Yeah, I think that was last year. But anyway, I got my little cooktop in here. And this cook, this pot right here is going to serve as an oven. Put it down nice and low. Now, if you're new here and you haven't seen me stay at a, a hotel, I do be cooking at the hotels. Now, I got plenty of videos if you want to go check them out of me cooking in the hotels that I stay in. So, it's okay. <laughs> Well, it's, it's, I'm safe with it. You know, I don't be up in here like frying chicken and, and smoke flying all over the place. No, I don't be doing all that. I do meals either in my um, slow cooker or something like this. Now, all I'm going to do is sit this in here like this. Right, let me just... Get it in place first. Okay, like so. I'm just gonna sit it in there like that, and this is going to act as an oven. Let's turn it down some more because I want it to be low and then in about 30 minutes i'm gonna have some nice hot lasagna yay all right guys i'll see you when that gets done and show you what it looks like All right, guys, my lasagna is done and it looks so good. I kid you not. It looks so good. Look at that. Not bad for $5, right? And also not bad for cooking it in a pot. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, I'm not going without anything if I can't help it. See, I don't have to bring my my foldable oven with me. I can bake in a pot. <laughs> All right, let me get into this. All righty, let me bring you guys a little bit closer. There we go. Look at that. Rosa, Rosa, Rosa. Ooh, it was a little crispy at the bottom.
I think I want to go to a farmer's market in Raleigh. I have some room in my refrigerator, so if I buy something, I might actually try and buy something and then go somewhere and cook it so that I don't have to have it in my refrigerator long. So I might look and see if they have a farmer's market there. If I'm not mistaken, I looked and they had one there that was open every day. But we'll see. Mm. Mm. This is good for store bought um store bought. This is good for store bought um lasagna. Cause for the longest time Stouffer's Stouffer's was the king of you know baked goods and lasagna and I used to love um Stouffer's um chicken alfredo in the bag. Oh my goodness, that was so good. I don't think they sell it anymore. <clears throat> yesterday, yesterday I was at the park in Morrisville where my mail and my storage unit is, and I thought about Nicole. I met Nicole, if you guys remember. I met Nicole back, she was one of the first persons I met when I was um, in Morrisville. I was coming out of Wawa and her and her friend <laughs> was uh, coming out of Wawa. I think they were getting it. They were already in their car, their, their truck. And, and, and she uh, called my name out. And she was the very first person that I met in Morrisville. And so yesterday when I was at the park, I cro she crossed my mind and um, I decided to give her a, a text. And she came on over to the park with her... Um, her van, her big old conversion van called Ruby. And I'm telling you, we cracked up. We had a really good time, a really good conversation. We talked about, because Nicole is two weeks into her, two weeks into her full-time uh, van life now. So kudos to Nicole. And we talked about, you know, how she felt about things and, we talked about our like end goals and we talked about a whole lot of things. It was a really, really nice meeting. It was really nice to see Nicole again. And she also came to the first uh, meetup that I had in Pennsylvania. So Nicole, it was very good seeing you guys. I said seeing you guys, seeing you. And check out Nicole's channel. I think it's called Ruby Slippers. Correct me if I'm wrong, Nicole, but I think it's called Ruby Slippers. And her van is called Ruby. This is so good. I think I cooked it a little too much though because it's, it's really crispy at the bottom. And it was, I would think, the bottom of this was, some of the bottom of this was in the pan. But it's really good. I'm super excited about the trip now. I feel at ease. I don't feel no kind of anxiety or anything. Not yet, anyway. But, yeah, looking forward to meeting so many of you guys. I think from, from Raleigh, my next stop may be... Charleston, Charleston, South Carolina. I'm not sure. I did stop in Charleston one other time on the road, and I went to a farmer's market there, if I can recall, and I bought some bacon grits. The bacon was already in the grits. And you know, I never fixed it, and I don't even know where it is or what I did with it. <laughs> ah, so maybe I'll find something. But anywho, I'm going to stop rambling on. And California, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. And I shall be there in a few days. Well, it might be a little more than a few days, but we'll see.
All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today. I had a really smooth day. Looking forward to hanging out in Raleigh for the next day and a half. And hopefully uh, a few of you guys will come out on Tuesday and, excuse me, mm, excuse me, come out on Tuesday and we can hang out and get some laughs in there and maybe some food at the food court and just have a good time. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys soon.